But since this is a public function, and this is the first public function I'm addressing since we have had problems of land, I would like to talk briefly about our land and its issues. It's unfortunate that in the 21st century, in a big county like Garissa, we still have perception in our heads that we have shortage of land to fight over and even to kill. When there is absolutely no value on that land, and there's no economic power to do to change anything because this land has remained the way it is for the last century. And if you own an acre, or you own two acres, or you own a thousand acres, we are all the same. You have just you have three rooms, and your toilet, and then your bathroom somewhere. In fact, the whole. The day before yesterday, somebody asked me, has somebody ever built houses in Garissa for sale? I said, nobody has ever built. He told me why. I said, everybody is happy building their own compound. Ideally, in the world, there, there should be people who own houses and those who rent from them. So that you, the little money you have, if you have five million shillings, instead of building a bungalow, you can use that money for other investment. You can buy shares, you can trade with it, but you, you rent some, from somebody whose business it is to rent houses. And if you pay 20,000 shillings, per year it's just 240,000 shillings. But if you put um, that money in a compound, you build a big house, it's a waste because you need to have a watchman of your own it comes with its own costs. You need to have a cleaner. Um, you need security lights. In fact, uh, somebody called the Soto who had written a book called uh, Why Capitalism Works in the West and Nowhere Else, and Nowhere Else, pointed out is it all revolves around the idea of the ownership of property and how it is used. And everything which we own in Garza here, he called it dead wealth. Because there's no way that house will become of any value to you other than just sleeping in it. You cannot borrow against it. It has no title deed. It has no economic value other than just sleeping in it. Nakuzawa Toto, nothing else. And it will be the same if you rented a house for 20,000 shillings. So the whole concept of land ownership, I think, is a problem. But if I come to the current problem, we don't want anybody. This problem was there. It was marked that there will be um, the ring road. Nobody should build beyond that. And anybody who has, bu bu um, who has built beyond the ring road, you have illegally built, and your structure will be destroyed, and that land will be allocated. Currently, we have 16,000 plots ready for allocation. And the ideal situation I see myself is one where land will be given or a plot will be given to whoever needs it for free, even the ones who are coming from outside, so that there's nobody who will buy from a speculator. After the 16,000, we want to plan another 84,000 plots so that we have 100,000 plots ready for allocation. And then if the need arises, we are going to plan another 100,000. So much so that if you think you need 10 plots, we shall give you 10 plots. You, your wife, plus your eight children, everybody, <laughs> will give you all the plots you need. Because Garissa is 45,000 square kilometers of land, which is under Garissa County constitutionally, and 2,000 square kilometers, which is under Tana River, but which we occupy ourselves. That is 47,000 square kilometers of land with less than a million population. Why would we fight over land? We can give, if you want each one of you 10 acres, we can give you 10 acres for free, including a title deed. You can go and sleep in the open. 
<laughs> the county commission has left. We want to put two police stations there, one on this road on the left and the other one maybe behind on the ring road. Our people only fear the police to go and arrest them. But let me tell you, there's no shortage of land in this place. The whole of Central Province is 13,121 square kilometers. Fafi constituency alone is 15,940, 2,000 above Central Province. <laughs> Yet you are, we are losing lives because in our minds there's shortage of land and people need to fight over it and even kill for it. Anybody who has fenced, who intends to fence, who is trying to fence that land, that those are illegal occupations, they will all be destroyed. That land will be allocated. There will be no discrimination. Everybody in Garissa will be given what he needs. Even the ones outside who used to buy from you will give them for free, so there's nobody to buy from you. <laughs> we have no shortage of land, absolutely. Under this clanism, there's no, there's no clan ownership of land here. Okay, we, we communally own all our land. But the clan has no role in land ownership, especially illegal occupation. There will be no discrimination in the allocation of the land. There is no shortage of land anywhere. And we have had a small um, delays in the allocation of the land. But very soon we are going to advertise the 16,000 plots. You'll pay only a thousand shillings for them. We don't want to make money out of them. I'm told the other time it failed because some people wanted to manipulate the system, sell each plot for a hundred thousand shillings, make money from the public. Some people took it to court. Now we have withdrawn from the court. And you will pay only a thousand shillings to get the application form. Maybe when you are located, you'll pay some survey fees, but even that will not be more than 10,000 shillings. And you'll be given as much land as you want. I'm repeating it because I want this to go into your heads. But everybody believes there's not enough land and you need to go and die for it. People have lost their father, their, their husband, their brother, their son, because of fighting over land. And it really pains because that shortage which is in your mind does not exist. And even in the smallest countries with the biggest population per square kilometer, there's no killing over land. Live alone in a place where there's nobody and there's nothing here, like here. Therefore, please educate your people. I know all of you are opinion shapers. The pressure you are putting on the government, discrediting it, put it, educating the public in the social media. Tell them there's no shortage of land. The county government is going to give you all the land you need. If you have been fencing, nobody will buy from you because I'll, I've made announcements in everywhere, in, in the US, in the UK, in Finland, in Denmark, in Sweden, all the places. I've told those people don't buy any land from anybody. I'll give, them, give it to you for free. And if there's no buyer, there will be no speculation. But tell our people they don't need to die for land. If you have an investment, I know those land, that land will be divided into commercial and residential. If you have an investment to make, there will be industrial plots. If you want to make an industry, you come. If you want to industrialize this town. We are now building the aperture. That will be an industry. We are building a fruit processing factory. That will be another industry. This week we are expecting to get the license for the Madenge uh, power generating plant. They say they are going to meet on Tuesday today. Tomorrow we may get it. I'll put it in the social media for all of you to read what it is. So there will be a, this Madenge will become valuable. So there will be a Madenge industry. Even Gypsum, we are looking for investors to come and put a plant here so that the, the cement factories can get a finished product from here. So let's industrialize our town. And then it creates employment, it creates opportunity, it's a, it, um, 
is good for our economy. But if you inform the whole world that you are killing yourselves over land, how, 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 do, you, how do you justify it? people coming and investing and having the confidence in this economy. So that is my, our stand. I am happy um, that we are launching this program.